Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back again and this time I'm bringing you a music or CD, DVD and Blu-ray update. Um, probably the last one before Christmas and then after Christmas no doubt I will upload another video of stuff that I picked up either for Christmas as gifts or during the Boxing Day sales and stuff like that. Plus I've also placed a fairly large order with both Amazon UK and the US and they're due to arrive uh, the week leading up to Christmas so fingers crossed they arrive and um, I'll also be doing a update on them after Christmas so yeah um, so let's get into this one so we'll start with oh and sorry before I get into the update I'm wanting to give a shout out to Bob the Sub um, Mark awesome awesome youtuber and he's really really undersubscribed I think he's only on like 71 subscribers at the moment so guys you're all into your movies head on over he does great updates he's into a variety of genres um, yeah he's got a great collection just into all types of movies DVDs blu-rays still books you name it so his channel link will be left in the description box below so please head on over and check Bob the sub out and yeah give him a sub he certainly deserves it okay now on to this update so I'm gonna show the two um, CDs first I'm not really big into music but I'm slowly getting into it um, I picked this one up from crazy Clarks it's in a uh, tin box. I'm not going to open it up. It's just a uh, same style artwork inside a uh, three disc set with different movie themed soundtracks on it. Um, this was only $10 so I thought why not. Um, not the best um, compilation of movie soundtracks on this to be completely honest. There's a few good ones like Star Trek theme, some James Bond ones. Um, what else have we got? Um, Rocky, um, Armageddon, Men in Black, uh, just to name a few. So that's movie hits. Um, then I'm really, really excited for this one out of music. I absolutely adore 80s music. So I picked up 101 Ultimate 80s. This is a really nice set, and I think I only paid like just over twenty dollars for it at Big W it's a five CD set and it just has a lot of fantastic 80s uh, music on it so okay now on to the movies now in the past um, you've heard me complain about Australian movie prices well I must admit for this update I've done some really really good bargain shopping and picked up some nice uh, movie collection sets. So the following um, 16 movies I think all up cost me um, $70 which I think is an absolute bargain and I have actually seen most of these movies for this update. I've been good this time. Um, there's a few I haven't watched but uh, yeah the majority I've seen either recently or before picking them up. Um, so the first two were $5 bargain bin pickups from Big W. Um, they're still sealed. We have Frailty. Um, I haven't seen this one, but I've been wanting to pick it up for quite a while. So really, really glad to pick this one up. And then Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. Um, then I picked up the following um, next three from uh, Sanity for the 3 for 40 deal. So the first one's a Blu-ray of Heathers. I'd never seen this movie before picking it up. Um, watched it last weekend and absolutely loved it. This movie's fantastic. Um, a great sort of teen um, high school drama. A lot darker than I was expecting to actually. Um, to be completely honest, I wasn't really too sure what to expect going into it. I sort of had a rough idea, but this movie was really, really dark. Um, I'd highly recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, one of the classics from the 80s for sure. Uh, then the next um, lot is I'm really, really happy with this set. And that is the complete collection of Revenge of the Nerds. It has all four movies. 
It's been years and years since I've uh, seen these movies. I've seen the first three and I don't think I've ever seen the fourth one. Um, this one comes in a nice slip cover. I'm really wanting to build up my 80s movie collection and uh, yeah, so I definitely had to pick this one up. Um, the next one's probably the um, edition of the update. Uh, this is a really, really nice set. It's the John Hughes High School Yearbook, and it's in a slip box. But if you go like that at the front, it's sort of got a yearbook. So that's really, really nice. Um, this one has Weird Science, 16 Candles, and The Breakfast Club. It's an, actually a five-disc set, so the two discs have special features on them. Um, Weird Science don't really like the movie at all. Um, 16 Candles, I'm pretty sure that I've seen it ages ago and thought it was pretty good. And I absolutely love The Breakfast Club, it's an absolute classic. So again, great um, pack to own in my 80s movie collection. And then the next two I picked up from Big W for two for $20. Um, another uh, movie set. So the first one is a three movie set of the Riddick movies. We have Pitch Black, Chronicles of Riddick, and then the anime Dark Fury. Um, I've seen Pitch Black and really, really enjoyed it. Haven't seen the other two yet. Um, this is a great set. They all come on their separate discs and both all discs are stacked with a ton of uh, special features. So this is a really nice set and a great addition to my sci-fi collection. Um, and then the next collector's pack, I can't believe that I haven't owned these movies in the collection yet. They're not the best, um, it's the three movie collector's pack of I Know What You Did Last Summer trilogy. Um, I've seen the first two and I'm not sure if I've ever seen the third one before. Um, these came out and they're fairly similar to Scream. Um, as I said, not the not my absolute favourite, but you know, um, for ten bucks for three movies, you really can't go wrong with that. And yeah, I definitely wanted it for the slasher collection. Um, then we're still going. I picked up some more. I picked up um, three additions to my Planet of the Apes collection. I uh, finally got around to picking up the remake. I've never seen this before. Um, but I just wanted it to complete the Apes collection. I've heard it's not the greatest um, movie at all. And it's... Yeah, I've, I've heard mixed things on it, basically. I mean, a lot of people have said that it's pretty good. Other people have said it's not. So, looking forward to seeing for myself. Uh, then, like a lot of people have done recently, I've picked up the new Blu-ray release of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I was going to pick up the Sanity exclusive with the lenticular cover. That was fucking shit. All they did, the budget little shits. Sorry for the swearing, but it pissed me off. They just basically glued this crappy looking lenticular cover onto that cover. And the two copies that my local store had, they were wonky. Like, they weren't even glued on straight. And the lenticular cover looked absolute crap, so... I just went next door to Target and just picked up this edition. Haven't checked it out on Blu-ray yet, but I have seen the movie before and thought it was really, really good. I thought it was a fantastic rebirth to the franchise. Um, and I've never seen the TV series before, but Target had it on sale. And I've been talking to Kevin a lot about it, and he recommended it to me. So picked up the complete TV series of The Planet of the Apes. Um, haven't watched it yet. I'll probably start watching it uh, sometime during the week and uh, Hopefully within the next couple of weeks. I'll finish it off because I'm wanting to do an overview of my Planet of the Apes collection Which I believe is fairly uh, it's pretty much complete apart from the animated series um, Then the following two were just nine dollar pickups from Sanity um, I picked up the original Mini series of V. I've never seen this before, but I'm a massive, massive fan of the uh, new series of V. I think it's an absolutely fantastic sci fi. 
um, two disc set so for the original V nine dollars can't really go wrong with that um, I've heard a lot of mixed things about this movie and I've heard it's not very good but I am a fan of Australian cinema and um, a couple of the cast members and that's Savages Crossing I've never seen it before but it was also only nine dollars so I thought why not and uh, as I said heard mixed things on it um, so we'll see uh, then the last thing I got was um, sent to me from Paul, Salm of the God. Um, his description will also be left in the, um, sorry, his um, channel link will also be left in the description box below. So if you're not subscribed to him, please check him out. He's always helping me out with um, UK DVD releases. And thanks a lot, Paul. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your um, movie that I sent you. Um, so... A few of you may remember in a previous update, I picked up Popcorn with the shitty cover. Um, he was good enough to pick me up this one. Um, awesome, awesome cover. I wanted this one, um, so he was good enough to pick it up and we did a trade. So thanks a lot, Paul. I really, really appreciate it. Still haven't checked this movie out yet, um, but yeah, definitely love this cover. So that is Popcorn. Um, so I'll probably just either give this one away or just put it in my trade pile at the moment because that cover is hideous. But yeah, that is it for this update. As always, if you guys have seen any of these movies or TV series or music, uh, definitely let me know what you think of them in the comment section below. And thanks a lot for watching.